welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today I'm filming an update for Project Pan. It is the 18 in 2018. And this is the third update, I believe. First things first, I always start my videos with letting you guys know that this year I'm also doing a Pan That Palette with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. So if you want to check out my last update, I will link that in the description box down below. Alright, I'm going to start off with the products that I finished these last two months. The first thing is Benefits High Beam. This little deluxe size sample, I took the stop route and everything, and there's technically some product in here. I finished this like this and um, the eye base that I will show you in a sec were basically like shoe-ins. I knew I was going to finish them um, before this update. But I took out the stopper and I'm sure there's probably another week left in here because there is still some on the side that I could get. But the last couple times that I was using it, it was really like gunking up and the formula has changed a little bit, just like drying out and it was disrupting my, my foundation underneath. So I decided to call it, but I mean like it's pretty much done. Like there's maybe, maybe a week left if I'm like really, really like trying to scrape every little bit. Um, but yeah, that one is done. The next thing that I finished is the Be A Bombshell Cosmetics in the color Submissive. This is the eye base. It's completely done. I'm going to keep this though because I have um, a pigment in my project pan, my Beatles project pan, and I'll link that down below. And I have been using this after I finished that to put pigment in here, the pigment in here because container that the pigment's in is really small and hard to get a brush in, so I'm going to keep this for a little bit. But I finished this up, and I actually finished it on the day I filmed a Get Ready With Me. It was for my cranberry look. I'll link that down in the description box down below as well. But um, yeah, again, there's not much in here. I really, really liked this. Okay, so the last thing that I finished up was this Visanti Rose Gold um, eye pencil. I use this on the inner corners of my eyes. Like, there's definitely still product in there, but when I sharpen it, as I'm turning it, this little plastic bit connected to the um, wood bit is like it turns, so it doesn't, it won't sharpen anymore, basically. And I did take a, a little definer brush in there just to get, like, just to try to top it off, because like these edges are a little sharp. So I wasn't liking to put that in my, um, next to my eyes, next to such sensitive skin and next to my eye, which is sensitive. So I was using a little definer brush to kind of get as much product as I could out of there, but yeah, I'm done. I'm not going to try and dig more out of there because I don't want to ruin my brush either. Okay, from there let's move on to the face products that I have. And I only have two face products left, which I'm pretty excited about. So first things first, my Model Co. The little trio. So when I started this, I already had the bronzer gone, and the last update I was trying to finish up the blush, and I did, I finished up the blush. And then um, also the high beam, once I was done with the high beam, the liquid um, highlighter, I was said I was going to go ahead and start working on this highlighter, which I have, and I've hit pan. And it's actually getting to the point where it's, because I'm using my finger for this, with the blush I used a stipple brush, a stippling brush, but for this one, I, I use my finger. And so I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try and like squish the product back into the middle soon. So hopefully I'll either re hit pan on again or maybe I'll finish it. I do updates every two months. I think that's, possi that's a possibility because... I, first of all, this is getting used up really a lot quicker than, like, the blush was, um, and the bronzer, honestly, just because I really like this color, and I think you can be a little bit more liberal with, um, with the amount of highlighter you put on, at least I prefer to be a little bit, um, to have a little extra on. I really like it, and I love this color. I'm so excited. So as I've been saying throughout all the videos, I assumed that once I finished that cream blush, the blush, my MAC blush, I probably was going to be able to hit pan a lot sooner, or soon after that, make a lot more progress, because I was using both. I was using the the cream blush, and then I would set my face, and then I would put like the 
the powder blush on top of it just to kind of revive the color a little bit more after the powder. So I wasn't able to use a lot of it, plus, plus like for me, any type of pigmentation on my face, because I'm so fair, it shows up a lot, so I don't need a lot anyways. Um, but that being said, I have hit pan on my MAC, or my MAC blush. I am so excited about this. So with this blush, before the project, I had hit pan, and then I repressed it, and since I had repressed it, I never was able to hit pan again, but I did hit pan this time, which I'm so excited. The pan's a little uneven, and it's hard to see. I took a picture where you could kind of see it in the light, um, but it has like that um, buildup of product underneath, but you can see that it's pan. So my goal, I'm so excited. <laughs> I just keep looking at it, but my goal for next time is to have the pan be a bit more obvious. I'm almost more excited that I hit pan and I'm actually showing progress on that than I am about finishing these other products. Okay, so next we'll go ahead and do the eyeshadows. So, let's see. Okay, so for my Clinique Trio, the last time I said I wasn't planning on using it that much, so I didn't really know if I was going to have any progress, and I actually ended up using this a lot, not necessarily the blue that I had been using, but I had a pan in the blue and I repressed it this last time. And then also when I took my break from my Pan That Palette palette, I decided to use this for that week break. That week break. And so with that I ended up using some of this taupe shade, what is this one called? I think it's Daybreak, some of Daybreak. And so there's a little dip, there's no pan, but there is a dip in there. And that's just with a week of use, so, I mean, if I take another, use this for another break, I probably will be able to hit pan and use it up pretty quickly. The blue, again, I used a little bit. You can see I repressed it, but I repressed it a little unevenly, and I hardly used it, I, you know, a couple times. And then I used this Sierra Glaze a little bit as well, but not much. This had already had pan in it. So, yeah, a little bit of progress. Not much, but, you know, I'll take it. Okay, next, my ColourPop sequin shadow. Okay, so my ColourPop sequin shadow, I am really getting tired of my ColourPop shades just because I've been using them so consistently since the beginning of this pro project. And last time I was really getting frustrated because there was so much fallout. It was getting to that point where they were getting very dry and there was just... It was just a pain to work with. It was not fun at all. The looks were okay, but at the end of the day, I would have a lot of fallout. It was just, oh my gosh, I was getting so frustrated. So one of you guys, and a couple of you guys have um, kind of mentioned to me to try and revive it with an oil or alcohol, and I've seen some of the videos, and I tried alcohol with the Millionaire last time, and it didn't really work. It worked for like that moment. But because alcohol is a drying thing anyways, it didn't last, like it didn't actually revive it, it just helped like for the moment. And then a lot of people recommended maracuja oil or like other different kinds of oils, and I didn't have that, and I'm not really willing to go out and buy it for five dollars, for, you know, using up just the tiny bit of shadow left. Um, but I had been talking to Amanda D, I'll link her channel down below, because she actually suggested the maracuja oil and I talked to her I said did you know have you heard about anyone using coconut oil because I have coconut oil I didn't have any of the other oils that they were talking about and um yeah she basically was like I have no idea and I said I don't know either like we hadn't heard of anyone doing it but I said I'll probably do it but I'm gonna wait a little bit until the product's a little bit more gone so that way in case it turns gross it's not as like heartbreaking that I didn't finish it but you guys I used coconut oil and like legit oil like from a dropper and this was the Kapari oil and it works um, I used it up I mixed it up I pressed it down and it revived it it worked really really well um, it's a little bit different consistency it's definitely a little bit more malleable which is fine for me I also pressed it into the center I should probably hold it up I don't know if you guys can see it sorry um, I pressed it also into the center just because like once it gets to the edges it gets hard to work with. Um, but there's not much left. This will definitely be gone for the next month. And I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys that coconut oil does work. 
My ColourPop Kathleen Lights, I used like maybe once or twice. This had pan in it the last time, still has pan. Not really um, using it that much. This last month I've been using basically sequin and then also taking a break from these super shock shadows just to give myself a different look every now and then. Every time I talk about this ColourPop shadows in my, um, in my update, I swear I go on forever about them just because they're like so finicky. I love them to death and I like really, I really am enjoying them and I think that they're a really unique formula but they are so finicky, like towards the end at least. Okay, so for my lipstick, my red lipstick, the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Fire and Ice, 720 Fire and Ice. I hardly use this a couple times. I know I was saying, I think last time I said I really wanted to go ahead and try and finish this out. I didn't, I hardly touched it. I was just really tired of, um, if you watch my Pan That Palette update, you can see I'm just like, I was so tired of really, really harsh makeup. And I felt like everything that I had, of course today I'm wearing a lot of like a bright, bright, bold makeup. But um, at the time I was just wanting to get like into the springy light makeup. Kind of took a break on that. I didn't even remark it on my sheet because I think last time out overmarked it a little bit or undermarked it a little bit. I don't know. I marked where I had more progress than I actually did. And so, yeah, but I have dates next to my marks. And so you can, so next time I update, you'll see that it's taken me like a really long time <laughs> to make any other difference. The Dolce K Lip Liner by Kylie Cosmetics. Um, so, I have a problem with these lip liners. And I have another lip liner as well. Her, what is this one? The Coco K. So let me just tell you. So this is the Dolce K. And the thing comes out so easily. And it's not just this one. Because this Coco K one comes out as well. Like, they all do that or at least the two that I have do that, both of them do that. They're just really not constructed well at all. So this one I've been using and it's been doing good. I like the color, the formula is okay, but yeah, I don't know. I obviously don't have much product left, but um, yeah, because that comes out, the last time I sharp, or one of the times that I sharpened it, I had a little chunk fall off. So there's more progress on it than I think I than I actually worked on. Also, I have my Revlon lip gloss in in sparkling champagne. So I have taken the stopper out of this. Um, I've marked it here. I think it's a little bit below where I actually marked it, but. There's so much product on the side, I kind of gave myself a little extra um, inflation because I think that's where it would be if all this had settled. Um, and I have a stopper out of it, so a lot of product is coming out. I did that because every time I was using that, using this, it just like took off so much product and I wasn't getting much on the wand. It got to the point where I was having to stick the wand back in and out like five times just to get some gloss on my lip. But now it's very messy. So I recommend taking the stopper out, waiting until you have to to take the stopper out. But that's where I'm at right now with this. Hopefully next time I can have this gone. I think I said that last time. But if I concentrate on the Kylie lip liner and use it with this, because that's how I've been using the combination is um, this with the lip liner. If I concentrate on finishing that lip liner, I think with that I can finish this. So that might be my goal for the next two months. Okay, my Bite lipstick, my mini Bite lipstick in Honeycomb. Yeah, I've been using this a little bit. Actually, quite a bit. There's definitely, there's just steady progress on this from the beginning. There's been steady progress on this. Um, I really like it. I enjoy it. It's the one product that is the least fussy that's in my project right now. Everything else is either a bold color or... Um, with like the lip glosses. With the lip gloss I have to reapply a lot. So this is the one thing that if I have a really long day, this is what I'm wearing. So that's why it's so consistent is because if I don't want to me mess with my makeup, this is what I turn to. My ColourPop Liquid Matte Lipstick in Lumiere 2. 
I don't know. There's no real progress on it. I've been wearing this um, consistently, like today I'm wearing it. I try to make a mark. I kind of made a mark, so I'm assuming I'm like around there, but I can't really tell. Like, it does settle back around. I don't know. I don't really know how to tell like where I'm at, where I am on this. I really don't think I'm going to be able to tell until there's like no product in here. Um, but maybe tentatively here, but I'm not going to mark it just because I, I really don't know. Okay, so as of now, I have 10 products still in, in the project and I have 8 finished. So we're almost halfway through. Fingers crossed. I have a few that I think I can work on. I know what I'm predicting is that my sequin, my ColourPop shadow and sequin is going to be gone. Maybe. And then also the Model Co. will be gone. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, maybe if I really concentrate, I can concentrate on the Kylie and the um, lip gloss. Maybe four products next time will be gone. Fingers crossed, you guys. But that is where I'm at right now. Thank you guys so much for your time. If you're also doing a project fan, please let me know. I do want to come over and support you as well. And thank you guys for your support and have a good day. Bye.